it's, it's repetitive, just repetitive, going over it and over it and over it. And then a little bit of what Noel said as well, just understanding what the scene is about. If you truly understand it, then the lines kind of just come in. And last but not least, I never, I, I learn the lines, but then I stop before I'm actually going to shoot because I want to go in there and I want to almost be, you know, I almost want to surprise myself to see what what's going to happen, you know what I mean? And then the, the since it's, that was a really cool question, by the way, as far as like, have you, ever, have you guys ever like had to learn something right away? So the main thing that happens with me for some reason, I just have bad luck, I guess. Um, a lot of television that I've done, once I have it down and I have the scene and the dynamics and the feel of it, they seem to just change it at the last minute. And they'll send me like revision, you know, whatever, number pink, you know, whatever, uh, color, whatever. And it's like, dude, I just, I just had this. And then I just have to kind of go with that, but whatever. That's the best is though. That's, you that's know, how it people is. People don't realize the stress of, the, of learning the lines, right? They do change up last minute. You get on set and there's a whole different sheet of, 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 of words. Uh, I played a scientist in CSI New York and I had a lot of scientific garble. And uh, I remember one day I got, I got there and it was three paragraphs of whole different stuff. And that was stressful. That was real stressful. And you gotta do it. There's no messing around. There's no like, hey, can I take a break? You gotta do it. That's the business. You do it. So, good times. Yeah. Hi. Did you guys like, ever think you'd be like acting? Did I ever think that, did we ever think we would be acting? Yeah. Oh, I knew from from a very young age. I knew I knew exactly what I wanted. I started in high school, and by 19, I had moved from the small town of Washington to LA, and I started working right away. There was no doubt in my mind, and there still isn't any doubt. You know, but then when it happens, it's also like, oh shit. You know what I mean? But like because we certainly did not see fast coming at all. Like that was a shock to my system. You know what I mean? I was not in it. I would, I, you know, this is my mom sitting here, right? And 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 just just to show you where my head was, you know, uh, mom said, "Do you want to have a screening back home for friends and family?" And I said, "Mom, no one's ever going to see this film." <laughs> I said those exact words. And then it literally came out, changed my life, changed our lives, and and everybody's life here. So it, it, it you know, you just never know. Um, so that's kind of more of the shock now. It's like, oh wait, it happened. Now what? Now what? What do I do with that? But um, but that was my my story. Yeah, like fast came fast. <laughs> but uh, now for me, I never thought I'd be an actor in my life. Never even thought it never thought that someone like me from quote unquote the streets could even be in it or whatever. And uh, long story short, I was just right place, right time. I got asked to be in a commercial and that's how I kicked off for me. So that's the short story. Of it. I was cool being in the highway speed chases, America's Most Wanted, Cop, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, as for me, um, no, it, 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 was a, it was a thought, but I've always been a quiet kid. So my parents never really put me into any acting class or anything like that. So once I turned 18, 19, um, I just went about it by uh, trying to find a see if I could uh, find someone that does extra work or background work. And um, anyway, I did that for a couple of years. And it's a crazy little story because um, I got a call from my agent, well, my casting agency, saying that they're looking for like a Latino slash, you know, gang thug, whatever. And, um, yeah, I guess there was like 10, 10 of them, and I ended up being the chosen one. And I guess I was a, a featured extra. I didn't know who I was acting with until I got on set. I saw like a you know, bald head, whatever, so I'm, I'm assuming that's the, that's the other actor that I'm gonna be acting with. And um, I hear this voice, and this very familiar voice, right? And I, as I'm walking out of the, the apartment where they had me at, I walk, I run into Noel. So Noel happens to be the, the, the actor that I'm, you know, I have uh, the scenes with. So then that's when we uh, talked it up. He took me under his wing. You know, we had a whole month together. I got to know him. And uh, yeah, from there, he introduced me to an agent. 
and that's all I needed, you know, auditions and all that, and then I started booking these roles. So anyway, that's how I got, you know, into the acting. If it wasn't for this guy. Did someone catch that on tape? No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're shitting a tear right now. No, no, no. And then uh, me, it's kind of like Noel, same thing, never thought about it. Um, you know, when I was a kid, before, before gang culture took over me, I wanted to be an astronaut, I wanted to be a scientist. And then, you know, like I said, I, I joined a gang, kind of went the wrong way. Um, at a certain point in my life, I was already kind of looking for something else. I didn't know what it was, never thought about acting, and it just landed in my lap. It was like at the right time, just like Noel. It just kind of was the right time. I was able to reciprocate that, you know, that opportunity and do something with it, and I did. At first, I'll be honest, I didn't take it serious. It was just like, okay, this is fun, this acting stuff is fun, you know what I mean? I thought it was kind of corny, actually, at first. I actually felt funny doing it, but um, you know what? It was easy and it was money to be made. I was like, you know what, this is easy money right at first. And I still didn't take it serious, but eventually, um, the manager that I got with, the, the guy that, uh, that discovered me or whatever, um, he, I, he actually kind of was like a mentor to me. And, um, and between him and actually Noel as well, Noel gave me a lot that kind of got me to, you know what, all right, I'm gonna give it a real shot. I gave it a real shot and the rest you know, was history. I mean, you know, I'm still not where I want to be, but you know what, I'm, I'm grateful to have an opportunity to do what I do, you know what I mean? You know he changed, because he said reciprocate. I can't even stop. <laughs> it's not reciprocate. That, sound, that sounded very extraordinary to my external auditory miatas. Henceforth, you know. <laughs> 